Hi. But last week, Pope came to the United States. Big brouhaha, circus, political circus, on all TV, live broadcast. What was this guy doing? What has done? What is his job? What is his job? He is the head of one of the richest organization in the world. Huge real estate. And he is basically the head of biggest lie machine about God. Production of lies in the name of God. And he pretends to be infallible. Pope is infallible. They contradict each other throughout history. They change it, but they are all infallible again. In the name of God, he feels the power to baptize people, to forgive people's sins. That's the institution. An institution that for more than 300 years did not accept that the earth was rotating around the sun. About a decade ago, I, I forgot the time, finally they formally retracted their condemnation of Galileo and Copernicus. Such a backward institution. And what he said, he said, well, there is global warming. Good morning. <laughs> Everyone knows. When my son, who is now second year in Princeton University, Mateen, when he was elementary school, he knew it. You don't need to be really very smart to know that. An average person would know that. All scientists agree, except few who get money from uh, uh, these uh, companies who pollute, or few crazy people, but this is a well-known fact. And wow, Pope said this. Or he said there is poverty, we need to help people. Everyone knows that. Does it require to be a saint to know that? Or an inventor? He said there is a big bang. Wow, wow. He discovered something. Such an incredible under expectation about this guy whose whole job to make up biggest lies about God like Trinity. And then we are mesmerized. This guy is talking. And his talk is not even entertaining. He cannot even talk properly. Boring guy talks about something obvious that everyone knows of zoology. And everyone is getting excited. I have two articles at my website, 19.org, one about the former pope and about one other about this one. Please read those articles, one about 19 questions for the pope, the previous pope, and the, uh, a letter for him, and this one, new pope or old dog, which, let me tell you, <laughs> though it is, to me, it is not really very <laughs> important thing, but compared to the previous popes, I say, wow, <laughs> this guy, at least, he's not an idiot. He's not an idiot. He can accept the facts, and he's relating to people, which is good. But this guy, I will not accept in this article, if you read, and I said, so, uh, first of all, my two articles, because of these two articles, my website, as far as I learned from one of my former students, has been uh, banned, censored, in uh, Catholic institutions like a university in San Diego. Uh, I forgot it is University of San Diego or San Diego University. Check it, one of them is private Catholic college banned my, uh, my website, my website, you couldn't access my website to see one of my articles on philosophy. He called me, he needed uh, 
some advice regarding a philosophy paper. I said I have a few articles there. Check it. He said, well, it's censored. Interesting. In the United States, college, Catholic college, um, there is not a single word that I really, there is not obscene word in my articles. Not obscene words. And there is no profanity or any kind of picture that could be deemed X-rated on 19.org. I'm a Puritan guy. But they did it because of these two articles. Because expresses the truth. And they don't want truth to be heard. So when I read the news that the new pope, who just started to call himself Pope Francis, is humble and sensitive, I'm reading the second half of my article, sensitive to the plight of the poor and underprivileged. And when I hear the American media putting a positive spin on this corrupt and diabol diabolic institution called Vatican, I do not hold my breath. I see another clown in childish and fancy clothes shaking a smoke generating toy in his hand, sitting on a golden chair. Uh, he still have a car, but what is his job? He should not make money a living out of this. Nonsense. He should go work somewhere or get to work on just have a retired money, sit somewhere else. Making money and living out of religion is absolutely contradictory to the teaching and practices of all messengers. Jesus did not make money, but St. Paul did, which he distorted his message. I argue in my 19 questions for Christians. He justified slavery. He told women to shut up during meetings, congregation, because they caused Adam to lose. And then he justified, he defended himself against the disciple of Jesus to make money, to get money from the people, because he said, they are, you are my sheep and I am your shepherd. The shepherd should be able to milk the sheep. This was his defense. And he also came up with the whole sacrifice, divine sacrifice, putting Jesus close next to God, which later um, led to the coining and fabrication of 20, 325 years after Jesus in Nicene Conference. And he is one of the ones paved the way. And St. Paul also is the one that followed a Machiavellian methodology. He says, I become everything with everyone. I become Gentile with Gentile and Jew with a Jew in order to gain them. Machiavelli. And uh, interesting, this guy never met Jesus. And he was hated by, all. in fact, he was not liked by the disciple, real disciples of Jesus. He mentions, acknowledges his own letter. But the uh, interpretation, the, the spin on it is, well, they were scared of him. Hmm. The disciples of Jesus who stood with Jesus, the few, few brave men, while Jesus was persecuted, they are the coward, huh? Anyway, and the biggest prophecy of Jesus, if there is any in the Bible, in the New Testament, is beware of Pharisees. Their teaching is hypocrisy. A lot of warning against Pharisee, Pharisees. And this guy is a Pharisee. And he says, it is an interesting uh, fulfillment of this prophecy says, I am Pharisee, son of Pharisee. Anyway, this Pope, who feels the power of forgiving people, on top of an institution which manufactures, churns out saints and saints, idols and idols for people, and which had incredible scandal, sexual scandal spanning over decades, any company that had a fraction of that abusing children would go bankrupt. But they are now popular still. The power of religious dogmatism and ignorance. Okay, I say here, I see another clown in childish and fancy clothes shaking a smoke-generating tone in his head, 
in his hand, sitting on a golden chair, telling the hundred plus opium peddlers, dressed in red to distinguish themselves from normal people, this time it's white, but the other people around him, black and red, whatever, as the authority in fabricating lies in the name of God. Here it is. In case I cannot finish it, you may stop and read this. And if you are lazy, you won't go to the 19.org, you may just slow it down or stop and go. And uh, let me, a few more minutes. I will not have hope from this Pope until I hear him denouncing a long list of many former popes as murderers, liars, corrupt, and satanic, if he's truthful. Accept the truth so that truth will set you free. Is a verse from John, chapter 18, I believe. Check that verse. I will not have hope from this pope until I hear him asking Catholics not to support militaries of any government that attacks other countries. I will not have hope from this pope until I hear him advise his followers not to be fooled by flags or national hormones. I will not have hope from this pope until I hear him advise people not to believe any dogma, any religious or political idea without subjecting them to proper questioning and demanding for rational and empirical evidence to support. I will not have hope from this pope until I hear him declare capitalism as an immoral system like its rival sister communism, which has done this. I believe he came close to denounce capitalism, which is fantastic. I should acknowledge this fact. I will not have hope from this pope until I see him divest Vatican's, Vatican's, Vatican or Vatican, Vatican's billions of dollars from corporations that manufacture weapons, banks and rob people, banks that rob people, corporations that destroy the planet and corrupt the political system. Wow. Edip, are you socialist? I am a social democrat. I will not have hope from this pope, or I am a progressive peacemaker. I will not have hope from this pope until I see him in public confession, opening up the secret files and crimes of Vatican. I will not have hope from this pope until I see him opening the ranks of bishops and cardinals to women. I will not have hope from this pope until I hear him denouncing Trinity, the doctrine fabricated in year 3025 that insults human intelligence and violates the teachings of all God's messengers, including Moses and Jesus, monotheism. I challenge any, any Christian who claims Jesus is literally son of God. And I am ready to prove from the Bible the Gospels they claim to believe. I will not have hope from this Pope until I see him to take away the sainthood title of Paul, the delusional Pharisee, in quote, Pharisee, the son of Pharisee, who contrary to the teaching of Jesus fabricated theological lies, who promoted slavery, misogyny, and asked for money. I will not have hope from this Pope until I see him denounce the secretive and criminal past and present deeds of Jesuit order, including their infiltration in politics and their secret oath in which killing a heretic is not considered a crime. I will not have hope from this Pope until I hear him declare a society or nation to be immoral and diabolic if it does not guarantee basic necessities of life, such as food, shelter, primary education, and health care for every its members. And the list is longer as Martin Luther's 95 Theses. If Jesus came today and entered Vatican, he would repeat his words when he entered the synagogue controlled by Pharisees. In fact, he would be even more furious since these modern Pharisees are doing even worse, and this time in his name.
Thanks.